Today, President Trump took decisive action to minimize the risk of the spread of novel coronavirus in the United States. I have today declared that the coronavirus presents a public health emergency in the United States. The actions we have taken and continue to take complement complement the work of China and the World Health Organization to contain the outbreak within China. In accordance with the declaration, beginning at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday, February the 2nd, the United States government will implement temporary measures to increase our abilities to detect and contain the, the coronavirus proactively and aggressively. Any U.S. citizen returning to the United States who has been in Hubei province in the previous 14 days will be subject to up to 14 days of mandatory quarantine to ensure they've pro they are provided proper medical care and health screening. To be clear, this applies only to U.S. citizens who have been in Hubei province in the past 14 days prior to their attempted entry into the United States. Mm -hmm. Any U.S. citizen returning to the United States who has been in the rest of mainland China within the previous 14 days will undergo proactive entry health screening at a select number of ports of entry and up to 14 days of monitored self-quarantine to ensure they've not contracted the virus and do not pose a public health risk. Additionally, the President has signed a presidential proclamation using his authority pursuant to Section 212F of the Immigration and Nationality Act, temporarily suspending the entry into the United States of foreign nationals who pose a risk of transmitting the 2019 novel coronavirus. As a result, foreign nationals other than immediate family of U.S. citizens and permanent residents who have traveled in China within the last 14 days will be denied entry into the United States for this time. These prudent, targeted, and temporary actions will decrease the pressure on public health officials screening incoming travelers, expedite the processing of U.S. citizens and permanent residents returning from China, and ensure resources are focused on the health and safety of the American people. I want to stress, the risk of infection for Americans remains low. And with these and our previous actions, we are working to keep the risk low. All agencies are working aggressively to monitor this continually evolving situation and to keep the public informed in a constantly transparent way. The United States appreciates China's efforts and coordination with public health officials across the globe and continues to encourage the highest levels of transparency. It is likely that we will continue to see more cases in the United States in the coming days and weeks, including some limited person-to-person -person transmission. The American public can be assured the full weight of the U.S. government is working to safeguard the health and safety of the American